The side pods are an important part in packaging the car as tightly as possible, housing the radiators and the manifolds compactly to minimise drag as much as possible. The main radiator inlets are positioned either side of the car and must accept enough air to provide sufficient cooling to the power unit. Otherwise, the engine and its other components are liable to overheat, losing performance and potentially risking failure. So the inlets have to be carefully designed to provide the right amount of cooling at the smallest size and must also be positioned to be fed with as much clean air as possible. Deformable structure for safety are very important in a Formula One car and their position is given by the rules compare the cockpit. Till 2016, we can see that all the deformable structure was at the beginning of the side pods and even though it was a little bit extension, their length was mandatory. The dimensions are fixed for every car. Mercedes last year followed the trend to separate the deformable structure from the length of the side pods. We can see the deformable structure are in their position compared to the cockpit but the side pods are at least 15 centimeters shorter. So a better distance from the front axle, so less drag and less negative influence from the tire to improve cooling. Mercedes has positioned its inlets as high as possible to ensure the flow off the wheels and the suspension components don't have a negative effect on the cooling. Since the early 2000s, the side pods have also featured a distinctive undercut around the bottom, channeling airflow around the top of the floor in a streamlined fashion. This airflow can also be used around the edges of the floor, effectively helping to provide a seal. The side pods also open up at the rear in order to expel any hot air, and teams often flare these openings up at circuits renowned for hot conditions.